Breaking news today from the nation's capital. Capitol Hill still on high alert tonight after a man drives into two Capitol Police officers, killing one and injuring the other. Tonight at 6 o'clock, we have new information for you about the suspect and the officer killed in the line of duty. We now know the officer's name is William Evans, known to his colleagues as Billy. He was a Capitol Police officer for 18 years. The police chief tonight asking that we all keep him and his family in our prayers. A lot to get to tonight on the news at six. Thanks for joining us, Dan Spieler. And I'm Fanchin Stinger. We can tell you the crash also happening as many lawmakers are on spring recess right now and many of the offices there in D.C. are empty. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has ordered the flags be flown at the Capitol at half staff. National Guard troops with shields could be seen arriving closer to the Capitol building to get that situation under control. Right now, police saying the suspect was not known to law enforcement, but we are learning new information about him and his ties to Indianapolis. Birchelle Edme is back with us now with a closer look at, at what we're learning about the suspect tonight. Birchelle? Dan, Capitol Police say after hitting the officers and crashing into a barricade, the suspect got out of his car with a knife and ran at officers. That's when officers shot and killed him. Sources now telling media outlets the suspect was Noah Green, who again is from Indiana. We've learned he filed a name change petition in Marion County Court. That was back in December. Records show he wanted to change his name from Noah Ricardo Green to Noah Zaim Mohammed. The hearing from that petition was scheduled this Tuesday, but we've confirmed Green did not show up for that hearing. Because he missed it and did not file for an extension, the court dismissed the matter and closed the case. Now, the address listed on these court documents is an Indianapolis address. Other records show Green also had Virginia ties. So as we wait to learn more about the suspect and the officers involved, the lockdown at the Capitol has been lifted. So something we will continue to follow throughout the evening.